crowd was about like this, maybe a little bit less even, when we got here yesterday. But then, by the time it was around dinner, this whole place was completely full. You know why? This is how you know. This guy who's parked on this side of the street could not find a spot anywhere along the other side where you're supposed to park or anywhere in the parking lot. It was crazy. I mean, it was really busy here last night. I guess that's gonna be the norm from now on going south. Lofoten is where we're headed next. Arguably one of the most popular places to explore in Northern Norway. It's gonna be even crazier. We should just be glad that we had it pretty good up until now. There's a helicopter? It's a good thing I wasn't flying my drone. We're gonna take off today. We're actually gonna go back to the place just on the other side of the tunnel, fill up our water, empty our tanks, and then drive back through here and then kind of make our way around the island. At least that's the plan right now. Yep. Yeah. Looks like a military looking thing. Oh, why is it buzzing so low? Yeah. Why are they test drive? You think they were test driving? Yeah. Or you think they were searching for somebody? Uh, my sister thought they were dropping a bomb. This one is yeah. <laughs> Let's get out of here. But, 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 but I'm uh, uh, more logical. Yeah, you're more logical? <laughs> Go. Mila. How do I know there wasn't a hole there? You just fell through. Stay right there. Stay right there. Stay right there. Big waterfall over there somewhere. This is called Berg's Fjord. And it's this uh, twisty road that goes up. Why is this down here, anyways? It's very strange. I don't know why there's a big hump here. It's a bridge, Daddy. It's modern art, Daddy. Yeah, that's to give you a better view. Look at that. Scary. We're looking down in the fjord. It's carved by glaciers. That's why it's called a fjord. A fjord? Look at it. You can see through the cracks. Yes, yeah, horrible. Ah! Look at those stabilizers right here. Well, this is made of steel. Whoa. Wow, so many people showed up all of a sudden. I went across the bridge. Okay, ready? Yeah. Let's go.
still on the island of Senya, but we moved. We actually drove quite a bit. We drove around more or less the entire island. We even drove down to where the ferry takes you to Lofoten Islands. But we thought there may be a cool place to camp there, but there wasn't. And we weren't gonna take the ferry, so we doubled back, backtracked a bit, and started driving down to the southern end of the islands near the national park that's over here. As you can see, it's not as epic. It doesn't have these sheer rock cliffs that go up on both sides. There's not a, you know, beautiful sugar sand beach, but very, very quiet. We're basically the only ones here, us and our friends Julia and Marcel. In my mind, this is better, even though the scenery is not as amazing. Having the place to yourself makes all the difference. So I want to show you guys today something a little different. I want to just show you like a, a piece of our van that we sort of recently put together. We've had this, this uh, mosquito netting for a while now. We never got around to fixing it to this door until like maybe three weeks ago. It was really important for us to get it done before Norway because we knew that there was going to be a lot of mosquitoes and a lot of bugs we wanted the door open to have some air come through or you know just just kind of be able to interact with nature if you have a sprinter van you may know that these things are very expensive to get one made for your van or buy one that's purposely built for your van that encloses this big of a space it's literally hundreds of dollars a lot of the forums and stuff you'll see people kind of jury rig their own little setup which is what we did this screen is basically a $25 screen at least that's what we pay I don't know how much it is now still pretty cheap I think basically a $25 generic screen that you can buy from Amazon and it's made for like a sliding glass door standard size sliding glass door so what's nice about this setup is it fits this opening perfectly but there's no good way of just attaching it to the van without sticking a bunch of velcro or drilling holes some people use magnets which is part of what we chose to use it also comes with a roll of velcro and then with the the loop side of it pre-sewn on to the entire top left and right perimeter of the screen if you were attaching this to your screen door at your house what you would do is you just double side tape the hook part around the door frame and this would just velcro it on but of course being a van it's not perfectly square it's a little curved and they also tend to fall off when it gets really hot so what we did is we sew some magnets into the sides i'll show you all up and down the left and the right side we have these really strong rare earth magnets these are just the ones we bought from home depot there's no Home Depot here, but we've been carrying these in a bag uh, from the U.S. So we have we had a bunch of these. So we have one, two, three, four on each side. So we just kind of sew them to wherever, and they stick really strongly to this side. And then on this side, we stick them on the inside. So there's also four over here. The height is perfect. It goes down. It kind of just covers the bottom. And then we kind of tuck it in here on the side so it stays in there good. And these are made with magnets inside the, the opening as well. So they automatically kind of snap together. When you go in and out, they snap together. I'm sure you've seen these, you know, in people's houses for their sliding glass doors. The part that we customize is actually how it attaches to the top. The way we did it is we took a piece of fabric. I have to take this off to show you. And we put a piece of rope on the inside of the fabric. We put a, we took a piece of rope, pretty thick rope on the inside and we sewed it to the edge. And then we sewed the hook part of the Velcro to that and then what we did is we tucked it into the weather stripping. You see this weather stripping here? We just pull it up and we tuck it in. It stays in really well if you have the right size rope. So once you get it tucked in, 
you can just leave this part always on here. Even when we take the screen off, we leave this inside the weather stripping and it doesn't get in the way of the door opening and closing. And then when we're ready to put it on, we just Velcro the top on there. It's a little, because it's like a rectangular thing, you know, when it's curving like this, we have to kind of bunch it up and then get it to stick. But that, that works out pretty good too. So, and that's how we got all three sides of this bug netting installed on the van without drilling any holes, without putting any double-sided tape onto the van itself, basically because we know that they'll come apart and leave like a gooey mess afterwards. That's how we got it installed. See how this just kind of tucks in. So that's it. That's how we have the mosquito bug netting attached to the door of the van. Works out really well. We've had tons of mosquitoes outside and barely any of them get in. And the only way they could get in is if they somehow go under and then come from underneath when there's a little bit of a gap, you know, because it's not attached at all on the bottom. So, you know, we can kind of manually tuck it in to prevent anything from coming in from there. But it hasn't really been a problem at all. All in all, we probably spend like 40 bucks at the most. That includes buying the netting, buying the extra pieces of Velcro, which we actually didn't need because we already it, it comes with the uh, Velcro that you need. Some needle and thread and then some magnets. For the fabric, you know, you just use an old pair of pants, you cut it up, or we use an old bed sheet that we weren't gonna use anymore. If you're gonna come to Norway, you probably would not want to go without some kind of mosquito netting. It has been probably one of the most important piece of gear we are glad to have while we're here. But as long as there's a breeze, which right now where we are, there's just periodically a small breeze that comes by. Bugs haven't really been a problem in places like this when you're kind of wide open. That's my video for you guys today. Something a little different. Not just about hiking or the outdoors, but of course, there were some beauty shots, some drone shots there for you. And just in case that wasn't enough, here's a bit more drone shots of the spot that we're at. Thanks again for watching. I hope you guys are having a good day. I'll see you in the next one.